Welcome to this week's Care for the Course and Golf Rule of the Week. And this week we're talking about speeding up the game and playing ready golf. And we're going to show you a few examples of how you can speed up the game and play ready golf while you're out here on the course. One way you can do it is, let's imagine that you're on a tee and the hole before someone else made a lower score than you, but they're not ready to hit yet. So you can just say, hey, John, nice birdie there. Do you mind if I go ahead and go, I know you're, ready, you're not ready to hit yet. Okay, great, thanks. Tee it up and go ahead and hit your tee shot. If you do this, you're gonna find that those minutes are gonna add up as you're waiting on those players. So just go ahead and tee it up and then go ahead and hit your tee shot and go. So now I'm, I'm, I've already hit and now he's coming over and he's ready to hit his tee shot from there. So let's show you a few other examples of how you can speed up the game. All right, another way that you can speed up the game is you can drop your cart partner off at his or her ball. So I'm playing with Sarah. Sarah hit her ball on the left side of the fairway here, but I'm all the way on the right side. So to speed up play, I can take her to her ball and then I can go to my ball. The important thing is here is that both players are preparing to hit their shot at the same time. By the time she hits hers, I'm all ready to go and I can hit and, I, and then we can speed up play. So this is, can save a few minutes each round if you do this almost every hole. As long as you're not in the way of your other player, you can go ahead and do this, or you can drop the cart with them and leave it, and you can walk to your ball if it's not too far away. So find ways to get the cart to one person or drop the person off to their ball instead of taking time by sitting there and waiting for them to hit and then go in your ball. Those minutes can add up over the, or over the pace of the, of the round. All right, so here's another great example. We're on the ninth hole and there's a there's a parking area behind the green here, but it all depends. I'm determining where I want to park my cart based on where the golf balls are. So my playing partner hit her ball short of the green in the approach area here, and then my ball is on the back of the green. So in order to speed up play, I'm gonna drop her off at her golf ball in the front, but I'm not gonna park the cart there because that's the farthest place from where the hole location is. And why this speeds up play is because now Sarah can walk down to her golf ball and she can be going to her ball as I'm driving around the back of the green, which is closest to where the hole location is. It's in the back today. And then when I get there and start walking, she's already hitting her golf shot. Then when I get up, she's walking to the hole location. So where you park your cart matters as well, but also as, as we were back in the fairway, another example here, drop off your partner nearest to where his or her ball is, and then go around to where yours is, and then park the cart in a place that's closest to where the hole location is. If the hole location was in the front of the green here, I'd wanna park here, not all the way in the back of the green, because that's the longest walk. So those, those steps add up that add up time for the round. All right, so consider that next time you're parking around the ninth green or any other green around the golf course. All right, so now we're on the green. Here's an example of how you can speed up play. Continuous putting is really important. So if it's your turn to go, you go ahead and putt and you get up there in a comfortable range and you feel like you wanna go ahead and finish out, go ahead and do it. You can certainly ask your playing competitors, hey, do you mind if I finish out? Um, if you're standing in their line, they may say, hey, I'd prefer if you just mark. But for the most part, as long as you're not standing in someone's line, you can always finish out to speed up play. Also, putting with a flag sticking can be beneficial. It actually can, it can help you if you're, if you're comfortable doing it, um, but it helps speed up play as well because you don't have to take the flag stick out, set it off the edge of the green, and you can just putt and leave it in when you play. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example here. Hit your putt up there. You get up and you say, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out as long as I'm not in someone's line. Sarah, I finished out and I go from there. So when you're on the green, we spend more time here on the green than any other uh, part of the golf course. It's really important that we're doing everything that we can to speed up play. Um, again, if someone is away and they're a little farther away than you and you're ready to go, maybe they're still reading their putt, always ask them, do you mind if I go ahead and go? If you're playing match play, it's different, but most of the time we play stroke play here at the club. So go ahead and just ask and, and see if you can speed up the game. Continuous putting, leave the flag stick in. So those are a few ways you can speed up the game when we're on the putting green in particular, where we spend more time than anywhere else on the golf course. We'll see you around the club and on the course.